When I publish a photograph here on YouTube, you often like to see the metadata. In fact, I get told off sometimes if I don't show it. But it doesn't really contribute much to the success of the image. However, when you see that the camera mode was on program, you raise your hands sometimes in horror. Are you a real photographer? They ask. What we're sometimes doing is to confuse program with auto. They are not the same. Now, like auto, program will automatically calculate the exposure. And you normally have very little control over that. But unlike auto, you can add in your own personal settings like white balance and exposure compensation. So you see, it is quite different. I have seen other photographers with super duper high tech cameras, very expensive. And what are they doing? They are operating that camera on auto. They are slaves to the technology. And quite honestly, if that is what you want, a quick answer, you might as well use a smartphone. Now, surely the art of photography is much more than that on just operating a very sophisticated camera on auto. Mind you, auto has its uses for when things go horribly wrong. It's happened to me. So you use auto, take a quick snap, and there you've got a decent picture, whereas before you might have none at all. It could be argued that for the beginner or even the experienced experienced photographer with a new camera, auto is a good place to start. But don't be fooled into thinking that it's going to be the magic answer to all your photographic prayers. When I used to run photographic holidays, quite early in the holiday, I would demonstrate the limitations of auto by producing a scenario, a situation where it's simply not going to work. That is, of course, if you wish to put art into the mix. Let me now show you. One of the tests I set for students who relied on auto were waterfalls. I would ask them to take two shots, the first with the water frozen, the second blurred. You might achieve the first by using the sports preset button but blurring water was more of a challenge. It was sold by using shutter priority, not auto, and then camera shake suddenly became a problem. Why? Well, a shutter speed of a fifteenth or an eighth of a second blurred the water, but unless the camera or lens had an image stabilizer or mounted on a tripod, so was everything else unsharp or blurred. Program is unexpectedly beneficial inside churches and stately homes. For optimum quality, I keep the ISO at 200 whenever possible, relying on stabilizers in camera and lens for shutter speeds up to a half a second, as very often tripods are not permitted. Not all of my clients like high ISO values, especially when there is no point in bumping it up in the first place, and where a knowledge of traditional photography, like holding your breath, is much easier. In low light, program will default to the largest aperture that the lens allows, to give you the fastest workable shutter speed for hand holding. Don't use auto it will bump up the ISO without telling you. Program doesn't, but it will automatically adjust the aperture for brighter subjects, such as stained glass windows. This allows me to work quickly, hardly necessary, you might think, inside a church or stately home, but there are other people milling around who unfortunately seem to get in the way. Now for a big challenge inside a church. 
a view down the nave without people. And, oh boy, when it is empty, you have to work quickly before somebody walks into the picture. And don't forget the choir beyond the screen. Certain subjects demand aperture or shutter priority, even manual. But for landscapes and architecture, I always start on program. There is a joke that a landscape won't run away, but we forget that the lighting, courtesy of weather, can, the most obvious example being a rainbow. When wandering lonely as a cloud, I start on program and take a quick shot, a snap if you like. If circumstances haven't changed, I retake the picture on aperture or shutter priority. However, you can guess which one ends up getting published, can't you? Yes, it's that snap. There are times when technology and the correct way of doing something seems to become more important than what we are trying to achieve. This happened to me. One of the things that photographers do not seem to discuss, or you see in photographic magazines, is spontaneity. Now look, imagine that you see for the first time this incredible landscape, lit by the most beautiful lighting sent from above. It's going to disappear very quickly. What you do, you take a very quick snap. Otherwise, you're going to end up with no picture. That is spontaneity. And very often, that picture, taken very quickly, just a snap, is the best of the series. There is a danger that we can wait too long for a picture where spontaneity is lost. I would take the matter further at the risk of upsetting you and losing my 100%, well, nearly, nearly 100% YouTube overall rating. I think that composition, the ability to see a picture, is something we inherit. It is not something that we learn. We can, of course, offer guidance or mentoring where we discover that gift that we haven't discovered so far. This has happened to me in another field, in music. Before I was a teenager, I had ambitions to be a performing musician. It didn't work. Well, I, I couldn't play the Moonlight Sonata from memory, so I blamed the piano, of course. Also, I used to sing in the church choir as a boy soprano. And when my voice broke, then I went back a bit later as a baritone problem. The choir then, when we sang anthems, was four-part harmony. You know, soprano, alto, tenor and bass. And I was the, the bottom bit. And you are harmonising with every body else. So you had your own tune. The trouble was that you kept on wanting to sing the top line, what the sopranos were singing, and I found it very difficult to harmonise with the rest of the choir. So unfortunately, I left. Instead, and encouraged by Peter, he bought for me my first camera. And it's sitting here, here it is, on the desk, an Agfa Select. Some of you might argue that this is a real camera because it is fully manual. But more important, I could see a picture instantly, even at 50 paces away. I have never had an academic lesson in my life in photography. Instead, I joined the local camera club in Dorking, and that is where, thanks to them, I learned most of my craft with this camera, which of course I've carried through to the digital age. A photograph has to grab our attention tomorrow as well as today. You know, time 
is the final arbiter in this matter. If you can take a good picture today, can you repeat it tomorrow? And you know, the same was said in a much broader sense when my first book was published in 1984. And of course, the question that kept on coming up, Derek, what is your next book? Happily, there was one and several after. I am the worst judge of my own photographs. I can go out there and take a picture without thinking as if in a trance, but I fail to see its value later. I might do several years later. Nevertheless, it's flawed, of course, the idea, but program helps me to work quickly. Now, yes, like auto, it does certain things automatically, but don't forget, you can still add in your personal settings. And one thing I haven't said is that in program, if your, your camera has program plus shift, then with the dials at the top of the camera, these dials up here, in program, I can change the aperture and shutter speed in program without going into another mode. I tried to interest, this was many years ago by the way, I tried to interest a magazine in the idea of spontaneity instead of doing all this sort of thing. You have to see, I think, a picture absolutely instantly. Anyway, they didn't like the idea. They said that they didn't quite get what I was trying to say. Nevertheless, you know, if you don't understand what I'm saying now, what I'm going to show you is, would you believe, the proof of the pudding. A series of spontaneous photographs snaps, if you like, to grab that passing moment that is not going to last long. So I'm going to finish the program with a selection of those images. Don't forget, they're just snaps.